Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome back. I'm Jan. If you're new here, and if you're not new here, thank you for being here. Uh, so, if you remember our little mini taco tot bites we made a few days ago, we're going to do another one. This time, we're going to make mini sausage bites. Now, make sure you've greased your little pan really good. And I don't know about where y'all live, but where I live, they've had Jimmy Dean sausage on sale three times in the last couple weeks for $2 a pound. $2, you know, for a little cube. Yeah, so I had to stock up on it. So while I got a ton of sausage, right, we're, we're going to make some stuff. I love that sausage, but I just cannot. I mean, I'll, I'll get some of you know every once in a while, but $4, $4 a pound is a lot. If I get two of them for $4, that's, that's fantastic. So, all right, I'm going to put three. If I can fit four. The ones I can fit four in, I'm going to put four in. I'm going to fill this up. This is a mini uh, pan. And we're going to put these in a 425 Fahrenheit oven for, I think I did 13 minutes the other day. So, 13 to 15 minutes, somewhere in there. And then we're going to uh, get them out and we're going to smash them down. So I'll see y'all in about 15 minutes. All right, y'all. I managed to get four into every one of these little mini muffin cups. And so these are going in, again, 425 oven for thir about 13 minutes, somewhere in there. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to grab some sausage and show that to you. And then we're going to fry that up. Okay. If you watched my last video, you know I had this giant tube, not giant, it was two pounds, of, uh, well, Tennessee Pride hot sausage. Which we put a, just a half a pound of in our uh, sausage balls, and then we put a half a pound of mild. So now we're going to put the other half a pound of mild uh, with, that's definitely a full pound of uh, hot sausage. So this is one and a half pounds. I don't know exactly how much we'll need, probably very little, but I'm going to go ahead and get all of this fried up. Uh, I put as much of it as I could in the freezer, uh, but what I don't put into our little our little mini sausage tots I will use for breakfast burritos or I'll just put them in scrambled eggs I, I love sausage y'all anyway okay this is going into a hot skillet and we're just going to get it browned up in the meantime I've got to get out some cheese and get that shredded up you also want a half a brick of cream cheese at uh, room temp or at least softened when our sausage uh, comes out we're going to mix this into our sausage. So, four ingredients is all you need. Um, two cups of shredded cheddar, give or take. Um, I don't actually think we're going to need that much. Probably just a cup. Um, I'm going to say one pound of sausage. Uh, your choice, whether you want it mild or hot. Now, that was a small uh, muffin tin. So I used about 50 mini tots. Uh, if you're using regular size tater tots, I don't know if you can get more than two in each little little cup on the muffin tin. So, um, but a half a brick, a softened cream cheese, and when our we, we've got to let our sausage once it's browned, we need to let it cool just about all the way down. It doesn't have to be room temp or cold. But just let it cool down enough so that when you add the cream cheese to it, it doesn't just, you know, dissolve it. So, I'll see y'all back in about 15 minutes. Well, there is very little grease in here. But it's just enough. Then I'm going to pour this out on a plate. Normally, I would just dump this into a bowl. But I want this to cool off very quickly. 
And I, I, well, except for that one chunk right there, I mince this up fairly small. Uh, normally, well, depending on what I'm making, I usually leave some decent sized chunks of sausage. But since I'm going to add that cream cheese to it, and in case anybody wonders what the cream cheese is for, is to bind it. Um, just so it'll stay in a, in a, you know, nice tight little clump on our tater tots. I figure it would be okay anyway because of the cheese that's going to be on top. Um, but it would be tragic if we went to get these little sausage tots out of the muffin tin and all the sausage goes falling out because, you know, it happens. So, uh, but if you don't like cream cheese, you can also use sour cream. And you, you, I mean, you don't have to use a whole lot of it. Now, again, this depends on, you know, how many of these okay. muffins are left. I got my trusty tablespoon measure. Gonna smash these down. Basically, we're making them into a little cup. Now, you don't have to add any kind of season or anything like that if you don't want to. But I'm gonna add just a little sprinkling of salt. And uh, I think I'm going to add a little sprinkling of onion powder, too. Y'all know what? I bet these would be wonderful with uh, onion sautéed in this sausage. I'm going to do that next time. Okay. Salt. Salt and onion powder. Just a little bit. And again, this is optional. Okay. And a little bit of onion powder. Very little. Uh, now you could add some paprika on here too, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave these for the most part plain this time. But here we go. Our little smash tots are going back in to the oven. And now remember on this part, it depends on how soft or hard you want your tater top bottoms to be. If you want them super hard, uh, leave them at least another 15 minutes. Uh, I will take mine out in 10 or less. And uh, you could actually leave them up to 20 minutes, but no longer than 20 minutes. So again, 425 oven, back in. They've already baked. Uh, it was, I left them right at 15 minutes this time, and I'm going to leave them only 10 minutes, and then we're going to mix up our sausage and cream cheese and then top them with that and our regular cheese. Okay, so I measured out two cups of sausage. And if I think it needs more, then I'll add some more in here. I was worried about my sausage being too hot, and as you can see, my, my cream cheese wasn't quite melted enough. It's almost there. Almost. Probably want her to use a different spoon. But. Anyway, I'm going to get this mixed up. I'll be right back. Okay, here's our piping hot tots. Here's our cream cheese and sausage. And y'all, I just have one heck of an idea. Because I already know I'm not going to need all this. I got something else that I'm going to put this in. Okay. Also, as soon as I took these out of the oven, I immediately turned the oven down to 350. Because everything is cooked now, all we're going to want is for our cheese to melt. And we already know I try to put too much in these little cups. Okay, now I decided to take the back of my spoon and press these out as flat as I could. And I did that so that the cheese will hopefully lie flat. Instead of running down, you know, the size of a mound. Don't forget to be careful about touching your muffin pan. Because it's very hot. 
yeah, I think that 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 worked well. So if y'all make these, uh, remember to flatten out your sausage when you uh, put it on there, and that way you won't have any problems. Get your cheese to stay on, unless you put too much, like I just put on that one. And also, I have a whole lot of sausage and uh, cream cheese left over, so you could easily do two pan, uh, two pans of regular muffins, or like probably, I'd say at least three of this size. Four, if you didn't put as much as I did on there. Okay, be right back. All right, y'all. Back in the oven. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say five, six minutes at the most. All you want is for your cheese to melt. Everything's cooked already. Oh, I'm so excited for this, y'all. I'm gonna let these sit here for. I'm impatient, so we'll say five minutes. Okay, y'all. They came out with ease. Now it's time to see if they were worth the trouble. Mm. Oh, yes. Mm. I actually think the cream cheese makes them better. Mmm, that's good. Y'all have got to make some of these. Please try these, y'all. Uh, and for Super Bowl, these will be fantastic for Super Bowl, too. I'll put all the ingredients in the description box below the video. Uh, I see there's still a lot of people that don't know that if you look underneath the video, you'll see the word more, like right near where the title of the video is. You'll see the word more. It's, it's in bold letters. It's not in capital letters, but it is in bold. Click that and a box will drop down and I have everything typed out that you need. And some of the videos, I even type down alternatives if you, you know if you want to try those, but... Please try these. You won't regret it. Whether you use hot sausage or mild, these are fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, y'all. Truly appreciate y'all being here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again in a couple of days.